And There's uh, multiple treatment strategies um, for managing the adelgid, uh, starting with chemical treatment being uh, one of the most effective at this point. Uh, and then to bring some of those, that management into the, the long term is wrapping in biological control, which is still uh, being researched here in the Northeast. Um, and this is done with uh, a beetle species that's native to the Pacific Northwest. Um, and then also two species of silver fly. Uh, so here at the Hike Preserve, we're actually releasing both species of the flies, um, releasing a little bit of, uh, over 800 flies. Um, so those adults will be released into the stand uh, where they'll mate and lay their eggs in the oversack of uh, the hemlock woolly adelgid. And then the offspring or the larva of those flies will actually uh, prey on the eggs of the hemlock woolly adelgid. You know, we're researching to try to manage this into the future and right now, uh, chemical treatment is the most effective uh, approach for managing adelgid in the short term um, and it is really important for preserving hemlocks at the site. Um, so when we're looking for places to release biological control we really like to work with organizations like the Hike Preserve and with the DEC where they're doing chemical treatments because we know that hemlocks are going to be there in the future um, and the untreated trees provide places for those predators to uh, become established. And, and to spread throughout the stand. And then the, the treated trees provide that food stock for the adelgid to move on to and the predators to move on to in the future.